Hello everybody. So, do you remember last week when I made um, the, hang on, I'll do the here's one I made earlier thing like Blue Peter. When I made my paper snow star flake, that's what I'm calling it, my paper star flake. And I promised I would do, uh, I keep looking at the wrong place, I promised I would show you all how to make it because it's so simple. So, what you will need are six pieces of plain white paper. Some glue, a glue, an ordinary glue stick is fine. We haven't got one, so I'm having to use PVA, not the easiest. Um, you will need some scissors. Let me just find mine. Ta -da! And you will need a stapler. If you've not got a stapler, glue will be fine. So the first thing you need to do is take, hang on, take one of your pieces of paper. Now, it's like this, so I'm just going to have to fold it down on here and then I will show you because I'm not very good at doing things um, like where I can't actually see them properly. So, you have to fold it, so it's basically folding it so that you end up with a square. So, you fold it so it is like that, see, so you take the corner down to the flat edge and then what you have to do is cut along here by this fold so that um, you end up with a square. So I'll just do it with one and then you can see and I don't think it matters if it's not mega neat um, and this one I'm actually going to put up in the lounge with my other one. So you have a square. Whichever way. So basically that is what you have to do with all six Ooh, all six pieces so now you have all six pieces like this the next thing you need to do is um, fold this in half okay so taking obviously one corner to the other corner to create a smaller triangle like so now, what you need to do, this is where it can get a bit tricky if you don't cut in the right place. So, can you see how we've got the long line, the long edge here, and then we've got the open edge at the bottom. What you need to do is to cut four lines, four strips from the bottom here all the way up, but leaving um, a gap at the top. You don't want to go to the very edge here. So, I will show you what I mean. So, you're going to go... Now you do have to really make sure you get this on the right, you do the cut on the right edge, otherwise it goes wrong. So see where I've stopped it about here? That's what you're going to do with all four cuts, all the way up. And if they're not completely straight, which mine never are, it really doesn't matter too much. I don't think. Three and four. Okay, and you can always alter them if you need to. It's better to make the cut um, and leave more space than needed. You can always change it. So you end up with a piece like this. Open it out. And that is what you end up with. So you're going to do that with all six pieces. So I'll show you again. You're going to fold this triangle. Oopsie daisy. Corner to corner. To create a small triangle you want the long edge here and the open edge on the bottom and cut your four lines you could actually I was thinking you could actually do these as um, like wavy lines if you wanted it would be fine or you know those like craft scissors that you can get where they do the different patterns you could use those it look quite cool I think so you go all the way up number three and you probably could do more than four cuts in it if you wanted to. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't. Okay, so another one. Oops. There we are. Number two. 
So as you can see, this bit takes a while. In fact, probably each stage does take a while, but I actually find it quite therapeutic doing this. So now you have all six of the squares. This is the bit now where the glue comes in and where I don't have any print stick. Um, other glues available. So I'm having to use this PVA, um, which is probably going to be a bit messier, but hey ho, it will be fine. Actually working this time. Okay, so oops, find it. There we go. Okay, so once you've got all six of these, what you have to do next is this is where it gets a bit tricky. So, see the middle um, diamond shape, you're going to take, fold it, and stick one corner to the other corner like that. So I will just do that and then show you. Um, it is definitely so much easier using proper print stick for this bit. So you're going to stick it down so it looks like that. Now what you've got to do is you have to remember, you then got to turn it over and you take the next one and the bottom and you do exactly the same you fold it and stick one corner to the other corner like that and this is the bit where it is so important to remember to keep turning them over because if you don't um, then it doesn't work so you fold the next one so it looks like that then of course you turn it again and glue again like this. So you do this with all of the um, corner bits and stick and turn again. So as long as you keep remembering to turn it, um, it should work fine, no problems. Um, so you end up with, it looks like a bit like a spiral, I suppose. Um, and then last one and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done so there we are that's the spiral so you do that with all six um, and keep yeah do that with all of them and I'll show you what to do next so the next bit, I keep saying so at the start of each bit, sorry. Right, the next bit, just move my glue. Um, I've actually just had to really quickly make a whole new load of the spirals because I was recording it as I was putting it all together, stapled it all and then discovered that even though it showed it had been recording, there was nothing there. So I've got another of the spirals that I've made. The next bit that you have to do now is once you've got all of your spirals like this is if you take the ends of each spiral you're going to put them together so that they're all lined up at the point like that so each one like this i've actually only just done five spirals i still need to cut my other one out so i'm just going to show you 
So you put them all together like that there. Then obviously there will be six. Once you've got them all together, you're going to get your stapler and staple them all together in the middle. Once you've done that, they will then open out to, obviously there will be another one when you do them properly. I've just not done my other one. Then they'll all be together like this. Then when they're together, obviously you won't have to hold them in the middle. On each spiral, the outside edge on the side, there where it's like a crossover bit, and then the other one on the other spiral next to it, you're going to put them together and you're going to staple those. So it'll be there. Then the next one will be here and here. And you're going to go all the way around, stapling the outside edge of each spiral until you get your snowflake like this. So you can see there where the staple is and that bit and that bit. Um, and you end up with that gorgeous paper star flake. So I hope that that has been um, fairly easy to follow. Sorry if it's a bit long. Um, and I hope you've all enjoyed it and that you are able to use it to follow on and have a go at making your own star flakes. Um, if you do, please share your photographs with me. I would love to see how your star flakes all turn out. Um, you can either share them in the comments bit. Oh, actually, I don't know if you can put photographs on to youtube i'm not sure if not put them on onto um the link which i will put on on twitter um my handle name is at bella underscore astro so please feel free to share your star flakes with me i'd love to see them and um yeah thank you for watching if you've liked it please give it a thumbs up and um yeah until next time bye <laughs>